because of this working grass fire. Also on this Wednesday afternoon, when it comes to keeping your job and even advancing, there are a few simple things that you can do to sell yourself apart. All right, our next guest, Michelle McCullough, is back to share with us four ways that you can be the most valuable employee in your organization. Michelle, my goodness, I can't believe you held on, on, on us this long because we all want to be the most valuable employee, right? Right, absolutely. And while the things that we're going to talk about today seem commonplace, and but they're not really common sense, and I'm finding more and more organizations are struggling with even simple things. Like my first favorite tip is to have a good attitude. Mm. Um, complainers in an organization are toxic, <laughs> and uh, it's so funny that I deal with organizations all the time who are like, "Hey, can you bring? Can you come in and talk to our team about having a good attitude and being positive and rolling with the punches and not going around to their neighbors and complaining about all the things that are there?" But having a good attitude really can set you apart. Sometimes Ooh. it's like Survivor, you yeah. know? <laughs> How you True. And sometimes it's there's legit that. challenges, right? Right. <laughs> okay. Up next, what if things in the organization do need a lot of improvement? What do you do there? How do you avoid bringing up the sometimes negatives? Okay. So I, my philosophy is that you complain or criticize in private and you compliment in public. Mm. And that works with bosses and organizational structures and cultures as well. But um, more than anything else, if you can be an employee that is a problem solver, you will be the best asset in the organization because complaints are easy to come by. Chances are if you're dealing with change, there are struggles in the workplace. But if you can find somebody, find a way to be a problem solver and not just a complainer, then you'll be valuable to your boss. Okay, let's talk about those problem solvers because those are the employees who come up with those solutions and do it without being asked. Oh yes, okay, so I love this. So tip number three is to be proactive and not reactive. So not only can you try to look ahead and be a problem solver, but if you can see a problem that's coming and figure out a way to stop it, those are my most valuable employees. Mm. And sometimes I will hire people just for a small project and put a problem in it just to see how they respond or if they will be willing to ask questions or if they'll be willing to look ahead and see how they can solve the problem. But being proactive rather than reactive is one of my favorite things that I look for in employees. That's interesting. You try to trip them up to see how they handle well, the just adversity. Well, a minor thing because yeah. things are going to happen in life. That's that's mm -hmm. just a normal. It doesn't go smoothly. So you want to figure out how to help. Okay. What's your last piece of advice for those of us who want to be the rock star employees of their organization? Yes. Sounds simple, but it's totally true. Go the extra mile. Mm. So find things to do in projects where you can set yourself apart by doing more. Now, I'm not saying you have to work late, come in early, and stay late all the time. But when you're looking for a project, don't just do the bare minimum. Figure out how you can do a little bit more. And as we've tried this in organizations, we find that those are the people who get snatched up across different departments mm. because they notice those people who are doing more than is required of them. And I love the quote by Dan Clark that says, you're not paid by the hour, you're paid by the value you bring to that hour. Mm. So how can you increase your value and increase what you bring to the organization? So those are all things that we can think about so we can get that gold star. Yes. <laughs> maybe not so much on our forehead, but you know, it does also lead to maybe better pay down yes. the road. It's a great way to ask for raises. It's a great way to maybe save yourself from layoffs or firings that might come your direction. So figuring out how to be an indispensable, valuable employee can really help you short term and long. One of our wonderful uh, bloggers here in the Beehive State. Uh, the website one more time is? Speakmichelle.com slash KSL. Oh, it is fantastic advice. Great